piece of a car. Looks like the back of a gun. It's early, man. It's too early. It's too early. It's moving day, y'all. It is moving day. We got an eight hour drive to our next location. Y'all got it easy, man. Y'all got it easy. You just, man, you're there. I gotta do it. We are 10 minutes away from where we're gonna be. It was a long drive and unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it right here. I cracked my windshield on the way here. So that's just another thing we're gonna have to get repaired on the bus. If you guys ah, pulling me off the side of the road, there's a lot of alligators where we're at. I, I don't know if I should just come out and say it. I don't know if I should just come out and say where we're at. We're, we're Louisiana. Hey, there's a couple of y'all got it right down in the comments. Louisiana is where we're gonna be spending the next week and if it's good we'll extend it another week but we have decided to come down to Louisiana it's a little bit warmer here luckily it's not supposed to snow there's actually supposed to, they're actually supposed to get a lot of snow where we just came from in Arkansas so we dodged a bullet but it looks like a lot of spots from what I've seen on Google Maps I made a very bad decision today to wear shorts luckily I got some bibs in my car but holy crap they did get a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be we have made it to the first spot that we are gonna be trying out right here. And let me tell you, there is a ton of bridges here. This is the first spot right here. As you can see, it looks fairly good. It's pretty tight. It's on a pretty busy road right behind us, but it's like a canal that runs for like miles. We're gonna give this one a go right here. I'm gonna go grab the magnet and take the first throw in a new state. Ooh, I need some warmer gloves, guys. I'm wearing Crocs today. It was not today to wear Crocs. All right, here we go. I am excited. I'm cold, but I'm excited. I'm hoping once I start moving around a little bit and throwing the magnet, then on my body will start to warm up. But I think I'm just gonna go straight to this side because then the wind will be at my back. This reminds me of Miami, kind of. Except a lot less lizards and a lot more cold. Here we go, let's take the very first throw of the day. I gotta be careful that I don't kick my bucket in two. Uh, oh, actually, no, I can't. I thought my bucket could fit under there. It looks like it cannot. All right, let's see if we're gonna get some goodies here. Oh, uh, here we go, we got the first fine here. Looks like we got a couple things on this show. We got a little flag right there. And I, I, like it. I think it's a piece of scissors. We got a little yellow flag right there. It says gas line. All right. Throw that there. And oh, that's a knife. Look at that. We got a piece of a knife. All right, cool. We got a little gas flag and a piece of a knife. You know we're in Louisiana. <laughs> you know we're pretty close to right here. Oh, man. We got some beads, dude. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm sure we're gonna find a bunch of these around here too. Look at that. I don't know exactly what the beads are used for in Louisiana, but I don't know. We'll throw them in the bucket, got some beads. Come on, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's a socket. All right, we got a Bud Light cap, a couple nails and a socket. And something with some words on it. It says safety and a bunch of really small words that are all blended in. Ha! So sometimes with new spots, you just gotta jump around and do a lot of experimenting with bridges. We're not finding a lot of stuff right off the rip here. Not a lot of big stuff, but I'm gonna go try the other side. Probably the next few days are gonna be a lot of jumping bridges, trying to find a good area. And usually once you find a good area, all the bridges around there have a lot of stuff. Here we go. We got something coming. What do we got? Oh, what is this? I don't know, but there's beads attached. <laughs> Man, I feel like we're gonna find a ton of beads here. All right, we got a couple things on this throw. Oh, we got some pliers. There we go. Well, it feels good to actually get something. We got more beads. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna find a ton of beads here. All right, get in my fucking Mr. Beads. And then what is this? I have no idea what this is, but I know what that is. We got some pliers. Cool, man. Throw it in there. Oh, this is a mop. Look at the handle. I'm pretty sure that's a mop. All right, guys. I will see y'all at a brand new spot we have just made it to the next spot and it's a little bit tight a little bit tight but we're gonna give it a go i'm hoping this is gonna be a little bit better than uh the last spot we were just at bro his back tires ain't spinning dude oh there it goes <laughs> i was like what there we go we got a golf club on that throw all right come here that's like a brand new golf club too look at that got a little eight iron cut in half right there all right, we got a golf club. Oh shoot, what was that? Man, I was coming up too fast. That looks like the back of a gun. No! Let's keep
Keep on throwing. Let's see, do we got something? I, oh my gosh, I know it's just a bolt, but dang, it feels good to actually find something here. It's been a while since I've gotten something. I think I'm gonna have to jump spots once again, man. That's all about magnet fishing in a new area. Sometimes you just gotta keep on fishing until you find the right spot. All right, it feels a little bit heavier once again. Oh, it's another bolt. Come on, man, we gotta get some bigger stuff here. What's going on? Bolts aren't gonna cut it, man. Bolts aren't gonna get us to a million pounds. All right, come here, we got our heaviest thing of the day. I do not know what it is. Come here, man. Now we're talking, we got a, something a little bit bigger. Oh, that's totally a piece to a car. <laughs> Look at that. That is a paneling to a car. All right. Oh, no. I dropped it. That's where the wheel would have went. Pretty cool, man. All right. We got our first big find in Louisiana is a piece of a car. Here we go. We got something coming up here. And it is just a little piece of rebar. All right, guys. We found more stuff here. But I think I am going to go down a bridge and see if we can find some more stuff. Hopefully, just every bridge we hop down, there's just a little bit more stuff. All right, well, I think our theory might be right here. As you can see, we went one bridge down, and there's a bunch of stuff just dumped on each side of the bridge. It's as you can see, there's a toilet on that side, just some cans, but there's a whole couch, some rack. I don't know. I, I haven't looked over there. I'm about to go look, but there's a lot of stuff over here just on the bank, so... That might mean there's some stuff in the water as well. We got a couple things here. As you can see, just so much junk, man, like crazy. All right, I'm gonna come back and go get that box. But right now, I'm just going to keep on throwing here. Oh yeah, we got something on the very first throw. What do we got? It looks like two pieces of rebar, maybe. All right, well, hey, that's a good sign, man. We got something on the first throw. All right, it's just rebar, but hey, Little bit of rebar counts. We got a couple little bolts, nothing too crazy. We're gonna move on down a little bit. Just jumping around, man. Look at that. We got a little clothes hanger. All right. The stuff that we're finding isn't, it's not a lot of heavy stuff, but it's a lot of just like completely random, interesting things. Like in Arkansas, we were just finding a bunch of just random, heavy things this is like kind of interesting cool finds what are we working with a tree branch and some stuff in the tree branch all right let's move you i'm scared there's gonna be a lot of tree branches that looks like a piece of a bucket or a barrel right there we'll put the barrel in my bucket kabam there we go we got something it looks like it's in a sock are we gonna sock on top of this thing whoa i'm falling in that hole Look at that. We got this in a sock. <laughs> Looks like a top to like a fence post, maybe. Something, but that's weird that there's a sock attached to it. What are we working with? What is this thing? All right. We got a little piece. I don't know what this is. Is this a piece to a gear or something? Yeah, I think that's one of those like valve twist things. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But I definitely had something heavier on there. I cannot tell if these are like branches or what what's so heavy but the anticipation is killing me i'm going to get this box now holy crap yeah i got something right next to it Jeez. all right well i got a bit <laughs> i got a tool dang this was literally right next to it man holy crap it's one of those vice grip tool things all right well, we'll put that there for now <laughs> put that there for now all right well we got a bonus find. Look at that. You can take all that aluminum cans to the scrapyard and make some money off it. But instead, they'd rather just throw it. Little gate fence thing. Throw that up there. We'll take that with us. I also see something else that we can literally just grab. Right here, there's a street sign. Ah. Oh, it's still got the freaking sign on it. What does it say? Ah. Bam. Throw that over there. Entering one ward something ward all right i don't know it says entering ward six whatever that means oh it's cold it's actually not that bad i'm lying it's really not that bad all right what are you oh you're heavy dang man it's full dude it's a box well let's get this thing up let's see what's in it man Unfortunately, it opened a little bit. All right, let's open up the mystery box here. We got some water. Let's dump it out and see what we got. Ah! Two-hand thing. 
Oh, what are we? Oh, no, I think it's freaking empty, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was so heavy. It was empty. Wow. All right, well, we got as much of it out as we can. Dang, that's a disappointment. Here we go. We got some more metal right here. Dang, dude, there's a lot of trash. It's just on the bank. Oh, we got a spoon. There we go. Got a little burnt spoon right there. All right, uh, we all know what that was used for. So <laughs> let's keep on going. We got something coming. It's pretty heavy. Heavy is fine to the... Yo, what do we got? It's a motor. It's a motor of some sort. And we got a battery. Come here, man. No! Oh, I had it. That battery got in the way. No! <laughs> it was right there. We finally had something good for today. All right, it, it could have gone too far here. We have got the motor. I repeat, we have gotten the motor. Oh. Yes! Oh my gosh! That thing was heavy, dude. We got it. I don't know what kind of motor it is, but dang, that thing was just barely on there, man. Look at that. Woo! We finally got something good. A motor. Cool, man. Let's see what kind. I don't know what I, it could be a motor too, maybe a lawnmower or something. It's about the right size, but we're going to throw in that same spot right there because let's see if there's any more parts to it. Whoa, it's a bike seat. At least I think it's a bike seat. All right, come here. Wait, is it a bike seat? Oh, that is a... <laughs> Someone had a very, very bad day. That is all what I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Someone did not have a very good day. All right, here we go. We got a magnet full of stuff right here. What do we got? Looks like we got a little box cutter right there and just a bunch of magnetic scrap. I'm gonna go bring my bucket over here so I can throw that scrap in it. All right, maybe we got a little good spot right here. I mean, I've really only thrown right here, but that's good, we're finding stuff. Oh man, this is just as heavy as the motor, y'all. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? This thing's big. It's a big one. Oh, I found a, quite a few of these in Arkansas. I don't know exactly what it is though, but we're gonna try to get it up here. I got it, but I'm slipping. Oh my gosh, my feet were slipping. I got it though. Look at my feet marks trying to catch myself, dude. I slipped all the way to the cement. Let's go, baby. Now we're getting some good weight. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what that is. Ah, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is, if you know what I mean. I was doing so good with getting pieces of motors too. Can one of y'all let me know down in the comments what this is? Ah, a ceiling fan or a base for an umbrella, but I know that's not what it is. Oh man, this is just as heavy as all that other stuff. Yo, what is it? Oh my gosh, it's a portable heater. Dang it, man. Whew. That's gonna be a heavy one to get up, y'all. All right, well, I, I know where it's at. I'm gonna note where it's at. I'm gonna keep on throwing here. See what else we can get. I'm gonna go to this little patch right here that's not all muddy. There we go, we got a couple little things here. What do we got? All right, I think these are actually used for the bridge, those things. I find quite a few of those over the years we have lift off what do we got oh man what is this all right come here it looks like another piece of a motor maybe ah, there's a stick all mixed up in there yup that is 100 a piece of a motor of some sort barely got it too all right get out off look at all that oil man that thing is like straight rainbow all right let's bring you on over here Bam, I don't know if it's a piece of the same motor or a different one, but that's good to get out of the water right there because as you can see, it's leaking oil or hydraulic fluid or something. I'm gonna try to work on my Cajun accent when I'm down here. I'm not even joking, y'all. Me and Bobby went to go get some food the other day and I, I'm gonna be honest, I could understand about 30% of what they were <laughs> what they were saying. I want to work on my Cajun accent though. What up guys, today we're going back from there to the Arizona River, the alligator swamp. Go Tigers. Man, it's gotta go so slow here. It's a different type of magnet fishing. Yo, what is this though? Oh, it's a big pipe. Oh, I gotta get that. What do we got here? Oh, lawnmower. 
Man, the lawnmower blades follow us. The lawnmower blades are following us from Arkansas. Man, we are finding so many, but that kind of makes sense. That's probably a lawnmower motor then. Dang, man, we cannot get away from them. I swear, if I catch a microwave, I'm running. There's the pipe. All right, let's go slow here. It's just barely on there. It's really big. Come here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The pipe master. Look at that, man. Some big old pipe. All right. We got it right here. This thing is heavy, though. Super, super heavy. Good, man. I'm glad we got some weight. We, we started off a little slow. But you know what? The day is slowly starting to turn around here. Yo, what do we got? Oh, we got a window frame just barely though. We got it by the bolt. Come here. Ah! See, that's what I'm talking about. You get really lucky sometimes. Got that window frame up, got it by the bolt, not even the magnet. That thing's not even magnetic, that's aluminum. And then we got this thing, <laughs> whatever it is. Dang, okay, cool, throw it in there. Ooh, what is that? Number 53, something, a tag of some sort right there. All right, let's keep on throwing here, man. See, I like, I like Magnificent in a new area. It's exciting. All these spots look phenomenal that I've been to so far. Oh my gosh, dude. I <laughs> Could y'all see it if I were yanked the rope out of my hand? Oh, damn. There we go, there we go. Come on, take off, baby. Slipping-ish. It's not off the bottom yet. This is, that is long, whatever that is. That is long. It did not come off the bottom at all. Wow, all right, got some nails. Well, I'm gonna throw back at that thing. I don't know what it was, but that's pretty big. Hey, we got ourselves a knife. We almost got the full set. We got a knife and a spoon. Where is the fork, man? The search for the fork continues. We gotta get the whole cutlery set. Y'all didn't think I knew a word that big. Cutlery. Oh man, we got a little pipe. I still want to get that big thing up. Is that a pipe or is that a gun barrel? Let's see here. Nah, no, that's definitely a pipe. Way too light. Way too light to be a gun barrel. But I would not be surprised if I found a gun here. I feel like this is going to be a spot where we could get some guns. There we go. This feels heavier. This feels heavier. Oh yeah, it's because we got some goodies right here. What are we working with? We got a little triangle, man. Look at that. Some sort of corner piece to something and just some little cable stuff do i got something actually oh i do i got a piece to an ironing board all right there we go bam little piece of an ironing board i wonder if the rest of it's out there and that's what's swaying around there we go we got something i have no idea what this is ow i know exactly what this is this is a handle to a frying pan right there or like a cast iron skillet that's pretty cool i think i got a piece of that big stuff out there i just moved it all oh yeah i don't is it a what's the word oh i think i know what this is it's the the not a drive shaft no actually i don't know what this is i think the wheel my guess would be a wheel goes on there some sort of an axle mate no i don't know bryce is struggling to find his words too hey oh it's big and I feel it dragging on the bottom. It just got up. Oh, what are you? Come here, it's all bent. Oh, it's a piece, it's a piece of a car. It's a piece of a car. Dang, look dude, that's a piece. It's definitely a piece of a car. Look, it's got a seatbelt holder right there. Or the seatbelt right there. It's a piece of a freaking car. That makes sense. Oh, that shaft. That shaft thing I found. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Dang. I think that's the bottom of a car seat or something. Holy crap, that's pretty heavy, man. Hey, there we go. We'll take it. What are we? Oh, it just came off. Oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. Look at all the stuff we got, though. That's all the stuff that probably got in the way of why it came off. Dang it, man. There's a lot of stuff at this spot, I do gotta say. Only took a couple bridges to find a good one. That's good. Sliding up it. There we go, it just came out of the mud. There we go, we got it. All that mud came out of there. I don't know what this is. Oh man. Yeah, I thought this was a piece to a car now. I don't know. I don't think that's a piece to a car. 
All right, well, let's get it on off here. Looks like some sort of trough, maybe. Well, if anyone knows what this is, y'all know what to do, man. Let me know. All right, our pile, I like this. Good little spot. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, we're scrapping it. Yeah, all right. Uh, he's just gonna see if we want if we wanted to scrap it. Look at that. Oh, we got another one of those tags. All right, cool. We got ourselves a little bolt. See, it's very easy to find people to go pick up your trash if y'all want to, because all it takes is Facebook Marketplace. Literally, he just pulled over. He's like, "Hey, you scrapping that?" I said, "Yeah, actually." Normally, I'd let him take it, but I need to know the weight. Look at that. Got a, oh shoot, that's very magnetic. We got another tag. 111. If y'all would like to get into magnet fishing for yourself too, go check out battlemagnets.us. The link's down in the description if you want to go check it out. I'm gonna have to come back to the spot with more people. Cause right there, that's something real big. Oh, I got it. I got it unhooked from all that other big stuff. What is it? Oh, it's another motor it looks like. Of some sort. Yeah. Come here, that actually looks more like a pump than a motor. Oh get off my magnet oh it doesn't want to budge that thing's really magnetic got to use the feet holy crap is that thing magnetic oh whoo that thing is on there good i don't know exactly what it is here let's see i saw numbers on it some sort of pump maybe i don't know it's heavy though all right time to load everything up in the trailer oh Dang, that thing's heavy. And this is the last bucket of stuff. There we go, man. We got a nice little trailer full. Right now, we're gonna go try to find a new scrapyard that will be our home base scrapyard. We had one scrapyard we kept going back to when we were in Arkansas. So, hopefully we can find one just as good as the last one. The last one was amazing to us. Shout out Diaz Scrap. We are about to go look for one and see how much we got. So, take your guess down in the comments on how much weight we got. So unfortunately, the closest scrapyard to me right now is over an hour away. So I think what the game plan is going to be is we are going to fill up, once we fill up the trailer, however fast that may be, we make a run to the scrapyard. And we try to do a scrapyard run about two times a week so then we don't always have to drive an hour there and an hour back every single day. Cause that's just unnecessary gas that we're gonna have to use. But I appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end of the video. If you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video, comment crawfish. I feel like that's very fitting. I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.